Now we're joined by Andrew Sorkin, director and tour guide of Sydney Private Guided Tours, joining us from Down Under. Thank you very much for being here with us. Now, if you can describe just how big of a change this is for Australia after these last two years. Oh, it's very hard. You know, before the pandemic, Australia welcomed more than 9.5 million tourists every year. And uh, literally the last two years, Australia has uh, shut it down. So we lost lots of uh, human resources. There's no tourists, uh, no migrants, no uh, workers, which is actually they help its uh, agriculture business. So uh, now it's Australia recovering. Hopefully, there are lots of uh, Australian companies uh, really uh, they re received uh, lots of uh, government support. The government rejected lots of money, and uh, literally uh, lots of the uh, businesses just uh, had um, two years of holidays, <laughs> like a uh, travel business. And those, yeah, these tough lockdowns. I, I believe they've been highly unpopular throughout the times there. But at this point, as things are lightening up, if if you can say, have they been seen by the public as a mistake, or from the public health perspective, worth that pain and economic cost? Uh, you know, in Australia, actually, it's they live in 26 million people. And uh, after the pandemic, it's not really finished. But uh, right now, it's the point we have about 5,000 deaths for 26 million people. So their uh, human lives are precious. And uh, in different states, a different like it's attitude the people towards the very tough lockdown. Like in our states where I live in, in Sydney, uh, people really uh, accepted the lockdown, like it's, it's uh, in the responsibility to help the government, to help the society to the fight the COVID. Uh, other states like Victoria State, where they had the longest on the planet uh, lockdown, the people spend in lockdown, uh, really started, you know, that's uh, really fight against lockdown and his attitude was completely different from the state to state. It's a different attitude, it's sure. a different it's a opinion of people, but yes, it's it's tough, but at the same time, you know, it's the two-thirds of the population living by the sea in 50 kilometers. So that's, if you have a lockdown, but it's have to go to the beach <laughs> and have a it beautiful helps. sunshine day, it's, it's easier. Uh, and just uh, with about a minute we have left here, are you expecting to see a, a, a massive wave of tourism now in the coming months in Australia? Uh, it's hard. You know, there are lots of uh, uh, travel companies that bankrupted because, you know, there is no, no business. Almost two years there is no business. And uh, now we get only bookings so far. So this is slowly, slowly mm -hmm. process going up because uh, Infrastructure, the tourist infrastructure was in hibernation for the almost two years. The national parks, the wildlife parks, there are lots of uh, uh, tourist attractions. Now it's we starting back to like it's a recovery and it's uh, and uh, uh, welcome to the tourists. So it takes time. It's, you can't really like a switch like it's a key and uh, everyone welcome. So it's slow. And the plus is still people worrying about the uh, COVID. Despite we have a pretty, uh, I would say, healthy situation with the COVID in comparison to the rest of the world and uh, lots of people vaccinated, uh, still, you know, there's uh, lots of tourists worried about the COVID and uh, lots of my bookings have really been cancelled because like a new wave of the COVID recently uh, hit Australia. Well, Andrew Sorkin, the director and tour guide of Sydney Private Guided Tours, good luck with the return of your business there. Thank you. All the best. Bye.